Hello! Welcome to another day with Prini. Whoa, today I'm back to my mini stepper. You know, I told you that I cannot stay like two days. I have to go back to my mini stepper. I can't do any video without two times down me on my mini stepper. You know, mini stepper is very convenient exercise. You can do anywhere. You just carry it in your place of work, in your house, in your kitchen, anywhere. You can use your mini stepper, even in the toilet. And you burn calories. Reliable, effective, calorie burning. You know, when I started, I don't know that I'll get to a time like this. I know everything is just patience, not giving up, being determined. I'll get to a stage that I'll feel that my stomach has gone in. Yeah, if you're today is the first time, I'm a mother of four, four lovely children. Then, out of the four, I have a baby. Then also, I did four times CS, four times cesarean operation. So, so nobody should tell me that, oh, if you have done CS, you cannot have a flat stomach or you cannot have a flat stomach. Everything is possible with determination and hard work. Hard work, hard work, hard work. And that's where we are. I'm doing the hard work. Not giving up. Be determined. I have, having four children, still squeezing out time to come on my treadmill to make my videos. You know it's not easy, but I do it. Squeezing out time to wake up and make sure I do it. At least I'm happy that when I look at myself, I'll say yes, I'm proud that I've got it to a good extent. I'm having a very flat stomach for someone who has four children and someone who is not so long have a baby. I'm so happy and so grateful for that. And for all those who, Lord, who have always been commenting, supporting, I appreciate you all. Thank you very much. So, see, I'm trying to be very aggressive. The last time I tried using the bigger one, but I noticed that the hand is a little bit bulky. So I went back to the smaller one. So I'm very determined in this stepper. Try as much as possible whenever you're using stepper to hold the dumbbell. It helps. So you burn the upper body and the lower body too. You see me my twisting, all of them goes with the step. I know with time my tomato will shrink more. But everything is a gradual process. But as much as possible, cut out late eating. That's what I've tried my best. I don't try not to be eating late. It's healthy to lose fat. It's healthy. It helps you fight against diabetes. Because eating late is not good because of the health, because of diabetes. Oh, also. So you see me. Thank you again i really really appreciate just i'm really really happy that people are turning up people are showing interest so with time i told someone that once i get to my 500 i'll start posting the links of everything i use so people have asked me i've said i've tried it and um youtube said i have to get to 500 for me to do that so i'm just patiently doing it okay you know i'm always have to spice up my video Thank <laughs> you. 
they have an inflammation i have an inflammation i said okay i was happy at least i had something so he now told me i said okay so what are we going to do so i then asked the doctor so what's the next step he said the next step is to give me an injection i said okay no problem i'm ready for the injection can i have it i was open-minded then because i just wanted then because i was heavy i was 100 or something i just wanted the pain to go then before he you know here in germany europe then he gave me a paper so I should read it understand it and sign before they give me an injection and i said then and that's my time i was reading i saw somewhere they told me that i have chances that might lead to paralysis i have chances that when he told me all these things i became scared then when i was sitting down there i remembered a very close point that when she was having arthritis they gave her injections on her two knee and presently already in her 80s she's no more working she cannot walk because the the after effect of those injections she's no more working in wheelchair so now i was working so i told myself no he told me i can go home read it absorb it think about it then come back i go to my house i said then the memory flashed and then my aunt is not even in Af nigeria in africa they give her that injection it was in london you know when she was having a tricep problem when she went for treatment they injected her and now she cannot work anymore i had to myself i went to the internet it's very good for us to do research if anything is affecting you as much as possible research they now said i'm not going to the internet like they now said being overweight affects the knee when having sometimes when you walk out take your time exercise you notice that there's the weight is lifted and i told myself what am i not doing the only option you know in life when you have an option nobody tells you whatever that has been that problem you will drop it like i remember that someone said if you yes we a smoker and you go to you go for a test and they tell you that your lungs is dying that you die in the next three months you don't stop smoking. automatically even if it was an addiction you will stop it because you want to leave so that food addiction i had then because being a sweet tongue person i love eating cake biscuit automatically it's bam i told myself some well, the truth is the truth this thing has to stop that's when i jacked up i'm telling the story that with that this jacking up and the other jacked up I, okay like in 2021 i lost 40 kg that's when jacked me up and i said are you serious I, when I say walking out, I was very aggressive. And I noticed that when I dropped 10 kg, if I walk on the step, the pain dropped. And I said, so this is true. The when I dropped 15 kg, it became lighter. When I dropped 20, I was like, I was already flying. And I said, so I was the one doing this to myself because of my food. I know having discipline, I won't lie. It's not easy. To something you like, maybe you like food. Like me, I was a foodie. It was not easy, but I did it because I loved myself and I want to be there for my children. I want to be able to play with them. I want to run with them and everything. I made up my mind. And that's how I lost that. So now again, when it started, when I, I, I had a relapse. So when I added this weight again, I went to 103. I noticed that my pain, my knees are paining me. I said, it's time to wake up, a wake up call. I started again. Now I've lost, I'm already in my 90 something kg out of 100 and um, 100 and uh, four i started with i've moved already almost a 10 kg out so i'm already feeling lighter already when i'm walking my knee pain is already going so everything is being determined making them saying ah, whatever that problem is that is causing something it's always a wake-up call for you and that was my wake-up call and now i'm here thank you for watching in my next video we talk about real life story i just talked about myself today